Hello Year 3 and welcome to our first home learning art video. Now this term we will be looking at the Romans as you know for humanities and I thought it would be great for us to do an art topic based around that. So we are going to be starting our first lesson by doing Roman mosaics. Now I hope you have the resources you need for today's lesson. If you don't have everything that is completely fine. You can always be very creative and come up with your own ways of making the mosaic. And I'll also be showing you some alternatives as well. So do not worry and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you are going to have to do is grab your pencil and then we are going to be doing a quick sketch of the drawing that we want our mosaic to have. So what I've done is I have already pre-drawn my boat and the way we see but I'm just going to go over it just so that you can see how I do it. So you draw your boat using your pencil so that you've got a good outline. Then you can do the sails at the top. And then for the sea, I would recommend doing some waves only because it makes it look a bit more exciting. But you could do a straight sea or a, wave, a smaller wavy sea, that's up to you. And then once I have done that, I am ready to go over my drawing with a black pen so that I can outline the whole picture ready for my mosaic pieces. So after you've done that, swap your pencil for a black pen. Okay, now that I have got my black pen, what I'm going to do is very quickly go over my drawing using the black pen so that it's very bold and very clear as to where I need to put my mosaic pieces. So, I just find it easier to do the main drawing. So I'm going to start with the boat and just go over it like that. It doesn't need to be perfect because when you put the mosaic pieces, it will come together on its own anyway. So, I'm just going to do the sail at the top, like that, and then I'm going to do the way you can see at the bottom. So just underneath the boat, I'm going to go over it and then I'm going to do another wave here, so that's two waves, three and then a fourth one which sort of joins up to those two, so they're sort of intertwined with each other. Okay, so I'm done with my outline and now I can get started with the fun part. Okay, now, so what you are going to need is your glue stick and then I am going to start with the main body of the boat. So that I'm going to make the colour brown. So I'm going to start sticking some pieces on and show you how to do that, especially around the black line so that you know which parts you can sort of stick and know which parts you might need to cut out. So. I'm going to take a few in my hands and you can use PVA glue if you want. I'm just using a glue stick just because it dries quickly and sticks on and because my paper is stood up I need it to just stay there rather than slip off. But you are more than welcome to use PVA glue or any other glue that you prefer. Uh, so you can overlay as well, so if you see there's big gaps, I don't mind big gaps, I think it actually makes the mosaic look more exciting. So I'm going to do stick it quite close to the black parts, and then like that. Now if you notice, some of my squares are quite big, and so when I get to the edge here, I might struggle to stick it on because it will just look like a big block of brown squares. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my scissors and then cut it so that it fits in perfectly there. So I'm just going to do that very quickly, maybe cut the edges. It doesn't need to be perfect and just check that that works. Nope, I need to cut it even more so you can play around with it until you get it perfect. And here, I think that will work. It doesn't matter if it goes over the black line 
too much as long as it fits into that corner. So what I'm going to do is, so that you don't have to watch me doing the whole thing, is I'm going to cut. And here we have the boat itself. So I've got the bed of the boat and then I've got the poles to hold up the sail. And what I really like about it is the fact that I've got these little white areas in between. So it makes it look really realistic like a mosaic. Now I'm going to move on to the sail now and I really like the colour red so I'm going to do mine in red. So let's have a look at what that looks like. And here we have the red sail, um, again lots of gaps in between but it's still within the black lines and it's starting to really take shape. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the seat at the bottom in my two shades of blue. Now if you've only got one shade, again remember that's completely fine, you could just do one shade of blue for the sea. Um, and I'm going to let you watch me do it this time. Okay, I hope you enjoyed looking at how I did the C at the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is, I am going to do the sky. It's up to you, you might not want to do the sky, you can just leave it how it is, but I really want to do it, so I am going to collect my orange and my yellow and then do that. Okay, and here is the final piece. I hope you really enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed making yours as well. I'm really impressed with it because it's very clear as to what the picture is. Um, but if I had a bit more time, of course I would have added a bit more. But for something that I've done very quickly, I think I'm really impressed with it. And I hope you're proud of your piece too. Well done, year three. See you later.